Thanks for joining us. First at nine tonight, tragedy for a Phoenix family. Their little girl dies after being pulled from a bathtub. Yeah, that family desperately tried to save her, but it was too late. Fox 10's Marissa Sarbak is live tonight with reaction from people in that neighborhood. Marissa. Yeah, certainly a difficult night for people in that neighborhood and, of course, for the family and even for Phoenix firefighters who were responding to this as the first responders on scene. They got the call at about 2 o'clock for that infant drowning, and they did head over there, 27th Ave and Glen Rosa. Now, we do know that infant was brought here to Phoenix Children's Hospital. Unfortunately, later, she succumbed to her injuries. Crews arrived on scene to find a one-year-old um, that was pulled from a family tub uh, by the family. CPR was initiated prior to our arrival. Phoenix Fire Captain Evan Gamage says the infant was in extremely critical condition when they arrived. They transported to Phoenix Children's Hospital, but the infant didn't make it. First responders were on scene all afternoon, and Phoenix police still well into the evening. A tragedy for the family and those in the apartment complex where it happened. It's sad, but that's all I can say, really. I can't speak on it because I don't know him. My blessings go out to him, and God bless him. It only takes about one inch of water for someone to drown, and it only takes a few minutes of leaving a child alone in that water for something like this to happen. Captain Gamage says Arizona has one of the highest statistics of drownings in the nation. Incidents like these serve as a stark reminder. It takes very little water. This is an unfortunate reminder um, that it doesn't take a pool for a drowning to occur. Um, accidents happen, unfortunately. It can happen in a bathtub, in a bucket of water, and or even a toilet. This case has been turned over, over to Phoenix police, and we're told detectives are investigating. Live tonight outside Phoenix Children's Hospital, Marissa Sarbach, Fox 10 News.